Hi guys, it is Julie. Welcome back to Pages and Pens. Today I am here with a giant book haul for you. This is an all-encompassing book haul that does include Christmas presents, arcs, books I've bought, a lot of stuff. Now you've probably seen some of these books in some vlogs. Like December was the month of reading vlogs. Every week almost I had a reading vlog because I had a readathon going on. And while the month was going on, I got a whole bunch of gifts. And the gifts all ended up in those vlogs as I was unboxing them and telling you who I was getting them from. I asked on Instagram and you guys said you wanted a dedicated book haul. So that's what we're doing here. Because I have 50 books in today's haul, there's no way I'm giving you synopsis of all of these books. And I don't think as of right now I've read any of these books yet. So I can't give you a synopsis based on like my own personal thoughts we're just going to move through these as quickly as possible or else I'm going to run out of battery. My camera's going to overheat. It's going to be a big production. I'm not going to tell you too much. I'm just going to say, hey, I have this book. This person gave it to me. I'm going to start with my Christmas gifts and just get those not like out of the way, but out of the way because you've probably already seen them in other videos. Right? Right. From Samantha Leanne, I got uh, Writing a Bre the Breakout Novel by Donald Mass. And then I got Autobiography by Christina Lauren. I cannot wait to read this one. And this one is one I'll take my time with, but I'm really, really excited about. Thank you very much, Samantha Leanne from Leanne's Lit. I am super stoked to get into both of these. Also super stoked that this means I can start putting books away on my shelves. Because I've been putting these all to the side for a long time now. Jackie sent me A Heart in a Body in the World by Deb Coletti, which is one I had read already, but I read it in eARC form, and I'm so happy to have my own book because I know I will reread this and like annotate it. I actually had to pull this one out from my favorites like cabinet because I love that book. If you have not read that yet, definitely go read that. I got This Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker from Mel from Mel to the Any, and I have not read this yet, but I have read other K.A. Tucker, and I really enjoy their writing, so she gifted this one to Chelsea, too, from Chelsea Darling Reads, and I think Chelsea had messaged and said that she really, really enjoyed it, so I'm looking forward to getting to that one as well, hopefully very soon. And then Erica, who is a friend that I used to do a book club with, sent me four books for sure, and I don't know what the other one was. But she sent me The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon and Far From You by Tess Sharp. I'm really interested in reading more from Tess Sharp. She's also like a huge new adult adult romance reader. She sent me Hate Notes by V. Keeland and Penelope Ward. I'm really excited about this one. This might end up in a contemporary thon or I might save it for Smutathon. I don't really know, but I'm excited because I think that's going to be like a quick read. I should enjoy it because I like the Smexy Times. Taylor from Bookish Taylor sent me Tell Me No Lies by A.V. Geiger. This is the sequel to, oh shoot, what is it? Follow Me Back. And I really liked Follow Me Back. And then this is the follow-up to it I needed in my life because I think I read Follow Me Back in like a day. So I can't wait to read this one. This is going to be good. This also might end up in a contemporary thought. Who knows? What I'm getting at is I want to read all of these. Then I have uh, Becky from Coffee, Cocktails, and Books sent me Ivy Aberdeen's Letter to the World. And this one is by Ashley Herring Blake. I really like Ashley Herring Blake's writing. And I believe this is a middle grade. Coming to terms with her sexuality and realizing that she likes her friends as more than just friends. Really, like, I can't wait to read that. And then the amazing Lily from Lair of Books sent me Juliet Takes a Breath, which is a book that I've been waiting to read for a really long time. I heard about it a really long time ago from Cece over at uh, Problems of a Book Nerd, and she loved it. And I really, really want to give this one a read. This is by Gabby Rivera. She also sent me In Other Lands by Sarah Reese Brennan, which is Jane from It's Jane Lindsay, uh, one of her favorite books of the year. And I believe she gifted it to Madeline, and Madeline ended up really enjoying it too. It's She said it's like a satirical look at like a chosen one fantasy at like a magical school. This one especially, I wanted to read and I've talked about over and over and over again. This is probably one of the oldest books that's been on my wish list. So the fact that Lily grabbed these for me is just amazing because I really can't wait to get into those. Amber from Amber's Books and More sent me Save the Cat Writes a Novel. This is by Jessica Brody. This is a book on writing. So I will put that with Samantha's book on writing and slowly work my way through that. She also sent me The Wicker King, which I did already read, tab up, love, five star. Then I also got an ebook gifted to me because I was registered on my wish list for an ebook, and it's Rafe. It's about the male nanny. That one I think is about a person of color. I don't know if it's by a person of color, if that would fit for like a February TBR, but it's about a male nanny. 
I'm about that life. Bethany gave me that one. So thank you so much, Bethany. And it's one that's been like on my wish list for a while that I've really wanted to read. And then Liv, I'm trying to get her handle name because I forget it. Liv the book nerd sent me Kingdom of Ash, which is just massive. But I still need to get to Tower of Dawn, but thank you so much. And then Kayla from Literature Reads sent me Small Spaces by Katherine Arden. She said that this was one that she really, really related to, like she saw a lot of herself in. So I'm really excited to read this and figure out why that is and just learn more about Kayla through reading a book that she really relates to. So I'm excited for that. Chelsea Palmer, and she sent me A Thousand Beginnings and Endings by Ellen O and Elsie Chapman. And this is retellings of Asian myths and I have heard really good things about this from Mel from Mel to the Any and I'm really excited to get to this one. There's a ton of authors in this. This is an anthology. And then Audra from Audra Read sent me The Storied Life of AJ Fickery by Gabrielle Zevin. I read Young Jane Young last year, really liked it. This is about a guy who owns a bookstore. Like how can I not love this? I'm gonna love this. Thank you so much Audra. I can't wait to think about you while reading this. And then I don't even have to tell you who this is from. Do I? I mean, I will. This is from Madeline <laughs> from Novel Inc. And this was her favorite book of, I think, 2017. It ended up on my wish list because she talks about it so much and I knew that I really wanted to read it. So she picked this up for me for Christmas and I'm so very thankful. And then Amber from The Ambitious Bibliophile sent me the Chamber of Secrets, the Ravenclaw edition. I need to get it on my shelf with my Philosopher's Stone Ravenclaw edition. She also sent me a deck of Fae tarot cards that were illustrated by Brian Froud, who is the um, illustrator for the Labyrinth, the fairies uh, tarot cards, and then the book that comes with the tarot. And then I went on to um, Amazon and got this Tree of Life, like really cool hand carved box, and then put the cards inside the box. So these are all of the fey cards that fit inside this box. And I just, I love the way that they fit in here and look in here. Unfortunately, the book is too big to also fit in here. Then I got the fifth season by N.K. Jemisin, and this one was from Aquarius is My Mood or Maria. I also got the Brent Weeks Black Prism first book from Crystal over at Book Gypsy. Big books, guys. Big, big books that I have to get to. And then Chelsea from Chelsea Dowling Reads sent me A Little Life by Hana Hanya Anakahara and The Witch Boy by Molly Knox Ostertag. This is one that she said broke her and would be on brand for me because I would cry. This one I got for her, she got for me. We both really want to read so I'm pretty excited to get to this one. I don't know when that's going to happen but hopefully sooner than later because I really am interested in that particular graphic novel. Another graphic novel that I got from Joss over at Schools Reads because she's just the sweetest thing in the whole wide world is the last I Hate Fairyland installment. I did read this on Hoopla. I don't love it as much as the others but I still wanted a complete collection of the series and I might at some point do another reread but this last one was a little bit of a bummer just in terms of plot. The art style is still amazing and I still like the series overall a lot. Amber from Amber's Books and More also got me the second Kim Harrison. This is Blood Crime. This is a Hollows graphic novel. So you guys know that I am addicted to the Hollow series by Kim Harrison. It's a full length adult urban fantasy series. There's like 14, 15 books. There's a lot of books. She had a graphic novel series that came out as well. And I think they only got two volumes in and then they stopped. But I have the first one. She sent me the second one. I'm pretty excited about this. This is one that I will probably end up reading after I do my reread of Dead Witch Walking, which is starting on the 18th. I think you're seeing this on the 18th. So if you want to join me to read the Hollow series by Kim Harrison, I'm not reading the whole series, but I am buddy reading the first book, which is Dead Witch Walking on the 18th. All of my info is on Twitter. It's my pinned tweet on Twitter. So you can go and check that out. My Twitter and all my social media is always listed down below. I'm really excited to dive back into this world. It's amazing. This was from Erica. I knew there was something else from Erica as well. Erica also sent me The Tea Dragon Society by Katie O'Neill, and this is another graphic novel that I cannot wait to get into. I believe that this is also Asian inspired about dragons who grow tea leaves on them. I don't know a ton about it. All I know is that everybody is reading it. It is beautiful. So then I have like a smaller stack of books that didn't have names or notes, or I have, I'm very sorry, unfortunately forgotten who they were from. The first one is a Jennifer Yu book. This one is Imagine Us Happy. This one is about mental health. I believe it's about a girl and a boy, both with their own mental health issues who come together. But I'm really looking forward to some more diverse mental health rep books in my life in 2019. So this is one that I definitely really want to get to. And I don't know if it's own voices. 
we have another Ashley Herring Blake, which I know will break me. It's Girl Made of Stars. And this one made a ton of top best of lists in 2018. And I want to get to this immediately, but it's a look at um, rape and what that does to all different parties that are involved in a rape accusation. A girl whose best friend accuses her twin brother or brother of rape and the best friend and brother are in a relationship together. So you follow all of the parties that are involved. I, I know it's going to be difficult, but I'm really looking forward to it. Then I got The Deepest Roots, The Deepest Roots by Miranda Acevedo, which I'm really excited to read. I know that Spence from Common Spence really loves this. And I actually got a signed happy reading bookmark from her, which is very, very cool. I think I won that on Instagram. Then I got Peter Darling, which is by Austin Chant. This is, I don't know if this is queer, but it's a Neverland retelling, Peter Pan retelling, and you guys know I live for that shit. I don't know a ton about it, but I've heard good things, and it's a Peter Pan retelling. That's really all I need to know to know that I want to read it. Then I got I Was Born for This by Alice Oseman. I don't know who sent this to me. I really like Alice Oseman's writing, so I want to read this even though this is about a boy band and I'm not a boy band kind of a person. So I'm a little nervous going into this, but I think I love her writing and her books and her messages enough that I'm going to be okay with it regardless. But this is about a girl whose like whole life and identity centers around being a fan in a fandom for a specific band. Then I got one that really scares me because I was really excited about it, but then I heard somebody say it was not good. So we're gonna see The Handsome Girl and Her Beautiful Boy by B.T. Gottfried. This book is gorgeous, first of all. Um, and I was interested in it based on like premise and title alone. But then I heard like, eh, maybe not the best book. So we're going to save. Then I'm going to get into my book box books um, and then some arcs and then books I bought because I bought, I bought things. Book box. I got Amber and Dusk by Lyra St. Celine. And this was in my Owl Crate for December. Owl Crate for my special edition Wicked King. I won't show you because I don't want to spoil the cover. Have you seen it already? I'm sure you've probably seen it already, but I also just don't want to be anybody's reason for spoiling. I'm reading it with the bookmark I got in that box as well. I am currently only on chapter two. I'm taking my time with it. It's a reread because I have already read it once in arc form, but I read and annotated my Alcrate edition of The Cruel Prince, so I want to read and annotate the Alcrate edition of The Wicked King. I'm just not like rushing my way through it. Then I also got the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition of The Wicked King. The regular US edition of The Wicked King. Three copies of The Wicked King and I'm not mad about it. I got Fear of Missing Out and this is by Kate McGovern. This one is about a girl who I believe has like brain cancer, some kind of like inoperable thing, but she has the option to potentially freeze herself until medical advances have allowed her them to come up with a cure and she's discussing with her boyfriend and I'm assuming other factors that come into play whether or not that's something she wants to do. I'm interested in it. Then I have 96 Words for Love, which is by Rachel Roy and Ava Dash, who I did not realize is a designer and her daughter. And they like are super crazy popular apparently as a designer. I did not know this, but it makes sense now why Kim Kardashian blurbed it on the back. This is an Indian love story and it is own voices. So I'm interested in it. Deepak Chopra also blurbed it. It's a diverse read. I'm here for it. I'm excited about it. I also got 99% Mine by Sally Thorne, who is the author of The Hating Game. This is her follow-up novel to that, and I'm excited to get to this one as well. This one actually releases, this is a finished copy, so it doesn't tell me, but this one releases, I think, in January, like soon. This one releases in March. Fear of Missing Out releases in March. This one releases 115. So this one's already on sale. This one is on sale as of today. And then this one I think is out on like maybe the 29th, but it's out soon. I got The Lost Coast by Amy Rose Capetta. And this one is one that I did not actually ask for. I got this while I was asking for Star World by Audrey Colhurst and Paula Gardner. They sent me this one as well, which I could not be more excited about. This one's about queer witches. Something is wrong with Amidst the Trees and the Fog of the Lost Coast and whatever it is, it can kill lush, eerie, and imaginative Amy Rose Capetta's tale overflows with, with the perils and power of discovery and what it means to find your home, yourself, and your way forward. Six queer witches, spooky woods in the ancient California red forest, redwoods. Like, 
it doesn't get better than this or more on brand for me than this. So this one comes out in May of 2019. I cannot wait to read that. That one will be being read soon. This is the one that I actually reached out for. This is Star World by Audrey Colthurst and Paula Gardner. Audrey Colthurst is one that I, I have other books by her. I haven't actually read from her before, but I've heard great things. And it says, sometimes the person you need most is the one you expect the least. Sam wants to fly under the radar at school, walk on eggshells at home, managing her mom's OCD, uh, wondering how she can ever pursue her dreams of studying aerospace engineering. And then Zoe, who um, was abandoned as an infant, her adoptive mother has cancer and her disabled brother is being sent away to live in a facility. So they each have their own issues and they exchange phone numbers and then help each other through a really hard time. When Sam's feelings for Zoe turn into something more, will the universe they've built survive the inevitable explosion? I am really excited for that one. The Weight of the Stars by Kay Ankrum. Kay Ankrum also wrote uh, The Wicker King, which I read and loved. We talked about this already. Loved this. This follows a character in this. So Alex in this book, if you read this book, is the one that like bakes the muffins for August. And this follows her, but like much further along in her life. So I believe we've got like a little bit of a time jump and we do see Jack and August in this book through her lens. Is a furious loner who spurns Ryan's offer of friendship. Ryan Burr dreams of traveling across the stars, but a career in space isn't an option for a girl who lives in a trailer park. And then they're drawn to each other despite themselves. Ryan learns Alexandria's secret. Her mother is an astronaut who volunteered for a one-way trip to the edge of the solar system and one night, every night without fail, Alexandria waits to catch a radio signal from her mom. Now it's up to Ryan to lift Alexandria onto the roof day after day until the silence between them grows into friendship and eventually something more. All of the queer books! I love it! This one comes out in March. I believe I'm going to be doing a read of this in February because it's own voices by a black author and I want to do as much of that in February as I can. Then we have who oh, this beast which comes out in May. This is Shauna McGuire's Middle Game. This is a standalone, I believe it's still YA, thriller about a guy who creates these twins and one is really great at math and the other one's really great at language and he tries to raise them up to like a god status which is attainable in this world but maybe shouldn't be really really excited for this one and just like anything right now by shauna mcguire and or myra grant which we will have more from that author coming up soon i also placed a book outlet order i know i said i wouldn't place a book outlet order i placed a book outlet order like, what are, you, what are you gonna do? But first, I went to Target for work, and at Target, I picked up Five Feet Apart by Rachelle, Rachel Lippincott, with Miki Daughtry and Tobias Iconis? Iaconis. I don't know. So this is about a girl who needs to stay five feet apart from everybody else because she has a disease in her lungs and she can't be near them, she can't breathe their air, and then she meets a boy and she decides, like, maybe, maybe it's worth taking a risk. So we're going to see how I feel about this one. This cover is gorgeous. It is being made into a movie, so I am interested in it. I do want to read it. The other one that I bought was the two other issues of The Wicked King. We've already gone through that. And then I also got this behemoth that, like, I can't even hold this. But I do enjoy the floppy hardback or floppy paperbacks. So I have this whole Dark Artifices series in the UK paperback you guys have not followed me on social media there was a debacle this was sent out it was released on the 4th I got this on like the 8th or something of January like something ridiculous but this is Queen of Air and Darkness obviously by Cassandra Clare this is the last of the Dark Artifices trilogy I really like this trilogy and I really want to read this book but I wanted it to match my other ones so I had to get the Book Depository UK paperback. At some point I will read this. This mailed out at around Christmas. It came like all banged up. It's it's a hot mess guys. Anyway, um, it took forever to reach me and the shipping said it was supposed to be here. It wasn't here. It was a big deal. I got another equally banged up Queen of Air and Darkness. So I have two. So I will be doing a giveaway for one of these. Stay tuned for that. I believe I'm going to do the giveaway on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram. All my social media links are listed down below. I will be doing that as soon as I have time to like organize it. I just don't at the moment, but I will be giving away one of these copies because I only need one. He's a big girl. Then I have my book, Outlet Books, and then this is the end of it. I promise. I only have six more books. 
Okie dokie, okie dokie. I got Tonight the Streets Are Ours by Leela Sales, Lila Sales, I'm not sure. She wrote This Song Will Save Your Life, which I still have, haven't read yet, but I've heard only good things out, so I'm hoping to enjoy this. It's a contemporary, I'm prepping for contemporary a thon. He seemed like the perfect guy until they met. Dun dun dun. And then I picked up Beasts of the Night by Tochi, Toki, Tochi, Anyabushi. I am not saying that correctly. I know I'm not. This was blurred by Stephanie Garber and Saba Tahir. And in this world, when you're absolved of your sins, your sins are turned into a sin beast. And then there's these people that kill the sin beasts. I think there's sin eaters and then sin beast killers. This follows one of those people. I've heard, seen it everywhere. It's, I'm, I want to read this. Okay. Is what I'm getting at is I want to read this. It looks beautiful. It's purple. I see beasts on it, lots of animals. It looks really cool. It reminds me a lot of like the uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them kind of like font and vibe. And then I got The Half-Life of Molly Pierce. This one is by Katrina Leno. I believe this is her first book and I don't own it, haven't read it, but you guys know last year was like the year of Katrina Leno, so I'm about it. I'm gonna read that eventually. I also picked up a physical hardback copy of Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett, which you guys know I love. I read an arc of this. Ooh, it's also beautifully purple, like very pretty purple. I read an arc of this last year and I hadn't had a physical copy of it yet. And I own all of Jen Bennett's works and I've read all of Jen Bennett's works. And this was one that I hadn't had yet. So I picked it up because it was like, I think $2 or something on Book Outlet. If you see Jen Bennett on Book Outlet, just pick it up. She's always amazing. Then I picked up two books that scare me. One is Scratch and Dent. This is Parasite by Myra Grant, who is the author of Into the Drowning Deep. This one is a riveting near future medical thriller that reads like a genetically engineered love child of Robin Cook and Michael Crichton. I don't know what that is. And this is Symbiont, Sim Symbiont. This is the sequel, I believe. Book one, this is book two, and then there's Chimera, which is book three, which I did not have, they didn't have it on there. All I know is that I saw Myra Grant on Book Outlet and I picked up as much as I could because I really want to read more from her. Um, medical thrillers, not really my thing. Thrillers in general, not really my thing. But neither was killer mermaids and like marine biology thrillers. And I loved that one. So it's going to be like the year of crazy large Myra Grant, Shauna McGuire books, apparently. And that's everything, guys, which is more than enough. That was 50 books. Uh, it's a lot of books. So now I can finally start putting them on my shelves. I don't know where on my shelves. I don't know how that's going to happen. But these are all books that I'm really, really interested in. Obviously, I wouldn't have them otherwise. They're books that I'm really excited about, obviously, or else I wouldn't have asked for ARCs or put them on a wish list or gone out and bought them myself. So hopefully these are all winners. Hopefully these are in this stack are huge amounts of four or five star books. And I end up loving everything and being able to talk to you guys about them soon. If any of these are ones that you have read that you think I should prioritize, let me know. If you think any of these are look particularly interesting or you look them up on Goodreads and you're like, read that one ASAP. I want to know your thoughts. Definitely let me know. The arcs will definitely happen. Everything else is kind of up in the air when I'm going to get to them, but I'm going to go try to find spots on my shelves for 50 books. Wish me luck. For now, that's everything. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye guys. Everything hurts. <coughs>